Myra came to us from Guatemala and she was found to have a cloaca malformation, which is a rare anomaly. It happens in one out of 50,000 live births. In a normal uh, girl, you have three openings in the, in the perineum. In a girl that is born with cloaca, and cloaca is exclusive to, to girls, you only have one opening. Myra had a very unusual uh, malformation and uh, we're the only colorectal uh, center in the state. So we're very proud of that and you know, they uh, couldn't wait to help her. When she was referred to us, we knew that we needed to repair this condition, which is uh, typically done in collaboration with two or three different services. So that's when Dr. Calisto reached out to me. We had worked on some of these patients together beforehand, and we came to know uh, Myra. We talked with mom and basically explained to her the steps that we were going to take to take care of her daughter. She was in agreement and from that point on, Dr. Calista and myself started working. The surgery that Myra had in our hospital involved reconstructing her urinary, genital and intestinal tract. The surgery is one of the most complex surgeries we do. Jack and I kind of call the doctors on the staff at Nicholas Children's our angel doctors, and believe me, they are. Nothing is too big or too small. <laughs> Myra recovered extremely well from the operation. She has three openings that are, that are functional, so I think that she has a very good prognosis. One of the most gratifying feelings that one has as a surgeon and as a team is to be able to help patients that have no other options. Myra, who's coming from Guatemala, had no chance. And I mean, it's just, uh, Jack and I just smile from ear to ear when we think uh, just helping this one child, how fabulous. When you see what happens, I go back and look at it, and I say, you know, really, we did that for that little, little kid. Just look at that little kid now. You know, that's a lot more important than any four foot putt I ever made. I'm very grateful to God for being able to come to this country and for those who donated money for the surgery they performed on my baby. Unfortunately, my baby was born with that condition. So as a mother, I feel very good and grateful to God that I was able to find them too. We've raised money for the hospital and so forth, and now we're trying to form a, uh, our legacy fund. Uh, our goal is to be able to create a fund that uh, uh, will help people uh, such, as, such as Myra. Uh, this is a, a fund that we want to create that will hopefully, uh, uh, you know, Barb and I won't be doing this forever, and uh, <laughs> once, we're, once we're gone, that fund will carry on a lot of the work that we're doing. That's our, that's our goal this year. The greatest gift of all to a parent is a healthy child. And uh, that's really, we want to be where the children are and be able to create healthy children. For 15 years, we've raised a little over $100 million now. And we're very proud of that. It's benefited you know, a lot of kids. And uh, more than that, it's, you know, it's, it's changed our lives too to be part of what's going on here. We've had a lot of patients down there that we've actually gotten involved with and sort of you know, where the parents have come back to us, we've met the kids, we've, we've followed the kids, we've watched, watched how they've grown, we see things, all of a sudden you got a new family. And it's just, and, and it's wonderful to see these kids grow up and see them uh, uh, move on and have a normal life.